So now once we've mastered using the sine rule to find a side, what we're going to do is just use the sine rule to find an angle. And you can have a look here and see what the rule has done. The rule has just been inverted, which means it's been turned upside down. So, and the reason for that is we're trying to find an angle, so we need our unknown on the top. So let's have a look at what this looks like in practice. Find the angles in the following triangle. So we're trying to find angle Y. So once again, this is the angle I'm trying to find. So I'm going to make sure I have an angle and a side, just like I did before, and I have an angle and a side. So this time, instead of putting the side first, I'm going to say I'm trying to find sine of Y, and the side that belongs to that is 3. And then I'm going to find the sine of another angle, which in this case is 47, over the side that belongs to that, which is 5. So now I've got sine y equals, and I'm going to multiply by 3, so this becomes 3 sine 47 degrees over 5. And because I'm trying to find y by itself, I'm going to do shift sign on my calculator, and then I can place everything in my calculator all in one step over 5. And I'm going to get, therefore, that angle y in this case is 26.0281 something degrees, which is 26.0 degrees to three significant figures. And that's how easy it is. So let's have a look at the next example. I'm going to do the same. I'm finding theta in this case, so I've got an angle and a side, and I've got an angle and a side. So we do exactly the same thing. So in this case, it's going to be sine theta over 9.7 equals uh, sine 62 degrees over 20.3. So sine theta equals 9.7 sine 62 degrees over 20.3. So we're finding an angle, so we're going to press shift on our calculator and we're going to place these values into our calculator we're going to write them out first. Um, and then I'm going to get from my calculator that theta in this case is 25.0 degrees to three significant figures. And probably a good idea for you to pause the video and have a go at this one yourself. And if you're coming back, side and an angle, side and an angle. So in this case, I'm trying to find x. So I'm going to write that down as sine x degrees over 10.3 equals sine 73 degrees over 11.1. So I get sine x equals 10.3 sine 73 degrees over 11.1 and because I'm finding x in this case I'm going to go shift sign and put all of these numbers in my calculator over 11.1 and the calculator gives me 62.546 and some other numbers which is 62 0.5 degrees to three significant figures. And I don't need that degree sign because x is already being given in degrees. And that's how simple the work is. Um, have a go at the exercise, and if you have any questions, just ask me in class.